Hey guys, and welcome back to Signalis. When we last left off, we were a little bit injured, but that's okay, that's fine. Uh, right, so, actually we've got some repair patches which we could probably use up, but let's go see how we do. Right. Let's dive into the weird gribbly ole down below. We don't actually have a light, which is quite nice. Oh, there's actually a repair patch here. Nice. That one needs a key card, of course. All right, let's go. There's a gaping hole in the pulsating flesh. Drop down. I. Oh my, now you tell me, you tell me that this isn't something at a Silent Hill. Alright, so it looks like our friend I Isa, Isa, whatever her name is, is in a spot of bother with this strange cage creature thing. Now if we look at her, oh, reload, it looks like she's reloading some kind of gun. And yeah, she actually is reloading some kind of gun. Now, I don't know whether this particular boss, Ow, is... I don't know whether it's on, like, a time limit or something. Um, I, I haven't really had that much time to experiment with it. But if you can see Isa, she's having a bit of a bad time over there. Um, frantically trying to pick up shells for that rifle. Uh, and she keeps dropping them. Now, I've heard that you need to do like X amount of damage to this boss before she will actually, you know, pick up the ammo. Which, yeah, I mean, maybe that's true. I'm not sure. Uh, we've fired seven shots at her, which seems to be what people recommend. Um, oh, there we go. Yep. So I guess you've got to shoot her five times. Or seven times, I should say. Or it, really. Okay, and with that, that brings us to another save room. She won't wake up. And she has uh, the rifle Isa was carrying. It's chambered in some sort of ridiculous anti-armor cartridge. No wonder the recoil knocked her out. Well, smart girl. Take a nice, big, overly powerful rifle. Just what the doctor ordered. Now, um, we can probably put... The uh, 12 millimeter back, to be honest. Don't think we're going to need to play with that anytime soon. What we could do, instead of taking this 10 millimeter pistol with us, I suppose. Well, I mean, we've got so much ammo for the 10 millimeter. That's the thing. Um, let's eat another repair patch just for health. So, I was looking up some stuff on this game between the uh, last two videos, and I was trying to work out how the um, ending system works. And it really depends on, like, what guide you read and all this other stuff. Uh, so, essentially, to get the best ending, you have to play really aggressive. Um, one thing I read mentioned that we have to ignore all the NPCs, but another couple of guides haven't actually mentioned that so it's all very strange and weird we're just gonna go on and see what happens so I mean whatever ending we get we'll get I'll, I'll have all the endings anyway um, anyway so we've got a gun we've got some thermite flares because why the devil not I guess right well let's start exploring shall we Ah, uh, this room. Oh god, okay. Oh god, let's actually like equip our gun, shall we? So that thing is actually really quite nasty. Um it's got a hell of an attack range on it. Uh it's a diseased stork, I believe they were called. Staunch stork. I can't remember the the different uh models names because you know 
it's been so long spread out since I've played these games, but let's burn these guys. So if we actually use these flares, that actually does burn them completely, as far as I know. They will not get up. Now again, the problem with the flares is you can only carry three of them at once. Doesn't matter how much inventory space you have, or how many of them you have available to you, you can only carry three of them at once. It's another strange limitation, but look at this area. Everything's like so fleshy and I don't know just weird you know what let's drop the gun back because we can drop the thermite flares back again it's another item that we can't really use because uh, oh and the stun rods we've got nine stun rods but we can only take four with us uh Oh yeah, and the trouble with the stun rods as well is you have to put them in a equipment slot, don't you? Which means we can't use the flashlight. Which means you can't use them in a room the way you need the flashlight. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess we're taking the handgun then. And... You know what? Ten rounds should be enough for now. So, let's start exploring. So those guys, although they're kind of like jibbing out on the floor, Apparently they're dead. I'm going to take the game's word for that, but yeah. So, let's keep going. So we've got some, a signal flare shell. You know what? Let's just go drop that back whilst we're here. Yes, because. Don't want to have too much in our inventory. Memory's a bit hazy around it. Actually, I don't think I've played any further than this, to be honest. Kind of can't. I can't 100 percent sure remember where I got up to on my personal playthrough. I'm thinking about it. I think it was this room. So this is all kind of going to be blind going forward, at least at the moment. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a map, which is going to make things. Ooh. A little troublesome. So we've got another res repair spray plus, which is actually quite nice. Oh, we unlocked the door. Oh, right. And I might need to take a break, guys, because I can hear my cat meowing his brains out, which means he might be stuck in the kitchen. That leads us to another bathroom. Or is it the same? Ah, oh, it's the same bathroom. Alright. Thing is, we haven't actually found any new weapons or items yet. Ooh. Hello. We'll grab the small bottle. <laughs> I'm sure that small bottle is going to come in handy. A small bottle filled with a clear liquid. The contents smell sharply of ammonia. Interesting. Alright, well, we'll have that. So who's in there then? Is that the person we're looking for? Also, uh, when I was doing my research for this game, uh, the Gestalts, or Gestalts, however you say it, Apparently, they're actually in charge of the rep, uh, replicas. But that's not really the impression that the game gave. It's kind of strange. So, the Dreamer. A prison from which only the, the only escape is death. Deep below, the Dreamer floats in the sea of flesh. The red eye birthing a new world from their dream for eternity. And each time the Dreamer turns over in their sleep... The world turns over too, until only flesh remains. That's cool. All right, and yeah, I can hear my cat going crazy. Right, one second, guys, and we're back. Okay, so yes, indeed, my cat had got himself trapped in the kitchen, as he likes to do. Um, he can open the kitchen door, but he can't get back out so we can go back down we've got this room here 
Right, so where can we go from here? So this is another bathtub room. Uh, possibly the same bathtub room, question mark? I guess we're going to go down... Ah. Right. Interesting. So that leads us to there. So are we in the same area again? Otherwise, this place is going to get very, very confusing very, very quickly. Uh, we can go through there. and go through here. Right, that's the lobby room that we can jump down into. That one's locked and we need a key for. This is a locked room that we can't do anything with. Right, we really need to understand how these work, don't we? Alright, that's fine. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, we can't go through there. So where did we come back in from? Where was the flesh room? Because we can't do anything else here because we don't have anything. Yeah, that's the triangle room. We need... Right. Okay. Oh, no, that's just indicating where we actually are in the level. That's... Oh, this is where we cooked those two girls. Oh, there's a door he Ah, right, okay. Door here. Ooh. Look at those weird, like, pulsating puddles of flesh. Regent's ring. Yes. Oh, God damn it! and we're out, like... My God, man! Fine, let's go back. Let's drop off everything in our inventory. Ah, uh, why? Why did they do this with the inventory, man? Like... Okay, so let's drop that off. Drop that off. I guess we'll hold on to the repair patch in case we need it. Right, that gives us three item slots. <sighs> okay. 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 So, let's keep going. We'll grab the shotgun shells. Maybe we'll actually have some fun with the shotgun later as well. Who knows? Ooh, bad one. Microfilament. Man, what is all this funk? Ooh, that music's piping up. Alright, how pray tell. Yeah, so my monitor has this adaptive darkness feature, which I don't know ooh, how to turn off. So what it does is if you're in a darkened area, because it's LCD, it tries to compensate and makes the whole area, like it, it reduces the brightness of the screen to almost nothing. It's not a good feature. <laughs> now, I remember when I first got this monitor, I found a way of turning it off, uh, but I can't. I've been through all the menus so many times now. I cannot find the feature. It's called like infinite darkness or something, infinite contrast. Right. Oh, we've got a rusted key. That's probably good. Yeah, like now, for instance. I can't see anything, but if I look over to OBS on my second monitor, I can see fine. It's dark, but you can see. So I actually have to look at my viewing window. Ooh. They really do throw repair sprays at you. Left. Ah, oh, we're out of space. Ah. Oh, okay. Ooh. Right, so what is that there? Plate of flesh. No doubt we need... Ah, look, there's another... 
Ooh, there's another healing item there, but we can't get to it. Right, so I'm guessing we actually need the plate of flesh. But, guess what, kids? Our inventory is full. Do you know what that means, kids? That means we need to go all the way back to an item box. The only way you could really make this less frustrating to play is if you just didn't pick up ammo or didn't take any weapons with you. That really is the only way you could probably get around it. It's so silly. Even though the item box is only like a couple of rooms away. Like, did they really... You know what? It probably wouldn't even have been as bad, right? If they didn't, you know, not only make you really limited on what you can carry, but also make the stacks of the things that you can carry really small. Right, we're going to keep the key on us. Right, now we've got three spare spaces. That, that seems to be a reasonable amount of spare, like inventory slots. I say reasonable. Okay, now let's get back through this maze quickly before my monitor adapts. Quickly. Oh, too late. It's kicking in. Going black. Right, okay. So, this plate of flesh. Didn't we already get something similar to that before? Uh, we found an item. Wasn't it called like a very similar thing as well? Possibly. Yeah, I can't see. Can't see anything. That's fine. Okay. There we go. Alright, cool. So, I'm guessing that key was for the door. But... Uh, my cat's being bad, because of course he is. Yeah, I guess that key's for the door that was back here. Right, so, let's... Throw the plate of flesh down, because I'm guessing we probably don't need that for now. We'll keep the flashlight on us, because that literally seems to be the most useful thing ever. Uh, right. Have we got the key? We have got the key. Might just record this. Uh, might make a longer recording and just cut it down. As and when we need to. Right. Let's keep going. So I think the door that we needed to go through up here somewhere, wasn't it? Now we can't go through there still. Yeah, that is... Oh! Oh, right. Well, that's confusing. You go through a door on this side and you end up... Oh, God, that... Yeah. That hurts my brain. Um, where? Right, so there's nothing there. Wait, was it actually the morgue that we needed to go? Um, wait, that was where the sleeping guy was. Mm -hmm. No, that was where we need to make the, the sacrifice, the offering or whatever it is. Right, okay. That really trips you up the way you walk through a door on the left and you come through into a room on the right that's really hurting my head now wasn't that door that we could use a key around here somewhere oh she's getting back up of course she is no we're missing the door Right, the map it was really useful here. Or was it down here? Ah, right, here it is. Rusted key, cool. So, oh god, there's a lot of items here, but that's fine. We've got some 12 millis, we'll have those. We have a wooden doll, okay. Got another one of those. And grenade shells, grenade shells. What do we use grenade shells in? 
Uh, 26.5 millimeter grenade launcher shells designed to be fired from ah from a flare gun. Okay, cool. And that's another door that we don't have a key for, or any kind of information for, for that matter. All right. Mm. Um, can we go through? Yeah, my monitor's so dark, I can't even see that. Alright, fine. So there's the pulsating ooze room. Let's go. Ah, look. Wait. Ah, the wedding ring. Oh, we left stuff here. God damn it. Alright, hang on. Ah, oh, okay. Back to the item room we go. Would it be quicker to jump down there? Maybe. Alright, luckily that doesn't respawn the boss. That would be like really awkward if it did. Alright, so let's drop the wooden doll, the wedding ring, the grenade shells, the 12mm ammo. Um. Yeah, we'll probably leave it at that for now. And considering we're on 20 minutes, I might just save the game here and call it a video. And when we come back, we'll know roughly, roughly which direction we're supposed to be going. So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.